Notion have been pretty busy over the last couple of weeks and it feels like week to week they keep adding improvements. Well this week they continue that streak with a whole host of new additions including a much bigger update which are board cards inside of Notion. So today I wanted to overview what those changes are and what they mean for your Notion account. Now, if you're yet to check out our last week's fixes of Notion and you want to keep updated, you can find that video over here and you can enjoy that there. We've also got a brand new newsletter out. It comes out twice a month and it's called The Routine and it summarizes guides, tools and resources for you to help be more productive with tools across your workday. You can check it out in the link in the description. So Notion has been busy again. They've released another haul of updates. And the first one is probably the best one. It's the board views inside of databases getting a much needed improved experience. Now it sort of feels like this should have been available from day one, but you can now edit and modify a board card without actually going inside of the board card itself. So you can edit the title. And once you edit the title, you can modify any of the properties properties that you have made viewable externally. So this is great for adding quick information to team without having to go in the card every single time. And it definitely feels like something should have been in there a long time ago. And this actually was captured on Twitter by Anton Lapko, who shared this actually a couple of hours before the announcement. So a, a huge credit to that and his tweets will be linked below that we're demonstrating in this video. So another update is actually something, again, you'd expect to be inside of Notion just because it's been in Excel for thousands of years. And um, it's actually just a drag value from one cell to fill other cells. So for example, if you have a status of done, you can drag it all the way down to the bottom and sort of multi do that instead of having to manually do that or at least sort of hold each property and then click edit property and do that in bulk. So now that's uh, available inside of all tables by the looks of it, inside of any database. So they've added a new section for relation properties in database pages. So for example, if you open up a Notion page with a database relation property, if you click on any relation shop property, you can see under the show as, you can click on as page section and see this new section appear. Apparently this is rolling out over the next couple of days, but this is helpful because you can see each context per page, which is pretty cool. Now, aside from that, Notion have added improvements to the sync databases with Jira and GitHub. It seems like they're slowly improving this as their sort of flagship sync databases to get everything right before they actually commit to launching this with more big, well, I guess more fine-tuned applications like Google Calendar and things like that. One smaller thing that they fixed in their bug fixes was the new progress bars and progress rings now being supported in roll-up properties, which is a good addition. So folks, what do you think of the new board cards? Are they a great time saver? Do they find a lot of value for you? We'll be keeping an eye on all of the Notion updates over the next couple of weeks. But if you fancy checking out some more videos on Notion, we've got loads of them. But if you want to subscribe to us, it'd be amazing to have you because we cover all types of productivity tools and resources. We keep productive. Please do subscribe today and I'll see you in a future video. Cheerio.